Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm gonna give you a demo of what's coming with OpenLens uh, landscape deformation support. So this is based on virtual height field mesh. Here we are actually deforming the landscape and it looks like butter, like it's quite smooth and uh, with virtual height field mesh and we can get rid of a lot of issues with desolation that we had. And I can show you the wireframe mode. It's quite detailed and it doesn't really affect the performance of your game as well uh, because it's, this is everything is based on the GPU and it's quite powerful. But this definitely has issues as well and one other thing is now you need to provide normal maps or try to generate normal maps based on the height because uh, this system uh, with if you use the tessellation and it will uh, automatically calculate the uh, the normal maps and uh, shadows works just fine but with a virtual height field mesh it, it's not like that uh, you need to provide normal map yourself so in this case we are generating the dynamically the normal map based on the height of this deformation currently you can see there are some uh, artifacts and we are going to fix it uh, quite soon and then another thing is uh, even though we are using runtime virtual texture support and basically the virtual height field mesh is based on the uh, runtime virtual text support unfortunately we cannot directly write this uh, deformation data so basically character footprints or you name it into the uh, rvt itself and uh, you can write it but uh, it's really hard to read it and there are a lot of things involved and uh, it's not gonna work you know it's totally possible if you're using uh, normal tessellation you can directly write in the height field uh, rvt uh, it, it works but with virtual height field mesh because virtual height field may also rely on the uh, height field and it, it's it doesn't really work that so we need to go with the pretty old render target based uh, method to yeah deal with this and uh, it's like that and so it's not that simple we need to invalidate the rvt uh, closer to the this user so that's how you can get this dynamic displacement as I mentioned earlier, you need to generate the normal map uh, dynamically. And there are a lot of moving parts. We will have this uh, support in a, about a week or two with open land directly. It's not only for snow, but you can use it for many purposes. And you can even provide uh, your custom brushes to like have this. So that's coming quite soon. And also we're going to support other landscapes as well. If you're using Brushify, for example, you can definitely use this for functionality. We're not going to limit that into open land uh, specifically. Right. And this is it. And if you really like this and uh, try to buy open land and uh, try to support us and uh, this feature is coming uh, quite soon and see you soon uh, with the update okay bye